Come on, smiley man, you're gonna give me a smile. Yeah, good morning. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Smiley Monday. It is a Monday. And I'm back on Wayneta. Uh, we're back on the pothole slalom. The pothole slalom of Victoria Park. Between these two. These uh, little speed things. You gotta go back straight onto the left here because there's a lot of potholes over here. A lot of patches on the road. Cars parked, skew with. Anyway, what's been going on? It's the Monday after the London Bike Show. And for the first time in a few years, I missed the London Bike Show. I was not there. Um, I was on holiday with Mrs. Snoop and the Ilford Stig. It was actually the Ilford Stig's 15th birthday yesterday. Indeed. And so we had a little holiday a week away in Lisbon having fun but not on the bike I haven't been on the bike in a few weeks because before going to Lisbon it was so cold and icy uh, that I completely whiffed out when it's below 4 degrees every day it's just too much risk of black ice and if you have an alternative like I do it's a sensible thing to do is to avoid that risk obviously if you have to do it you have to do it but if I could avoid it uh, I did sorry you know what I'm a, a wuss for cold uh, I will ride in the cold but if I have a choice not to uh, then I won't but yeah, we were away in Lisbon for a week, enjoyed it, lovely, it was much warmer, beautiful walking, beautiful city, lovely food, loved the place. Um, and I actually managed to do a couple of uh, videos, one of visiting a motorcycle apparel and lifestyle store called Udare. They are associated with a custom motorcycle shop called Unique Motorcycles in Lisbon. Uh, I did want to go to the workshop for the custom motorcycles, but I wasn't sure if they were open to the public, and so I decided to just go to the store, you know, spend a bit of money, buy a couple of t-shirts. And then we also spent some time going on the electric car that runs in Lisbon. It's a lovely little old style electric car. Um, and it goes on these really narrow streets and, and uh, very steep inclines. So we were on the electric cars, as I was saying, and uh, I used the 360 camera to uh, make some videos. And I made a video of the uh, Uda store. Uh, I'm just going to put them out as like um, a weekend bonus videos uh, and shorts uh, because they're a little bit different from the usual sort of motorcycle content. So I hope you don't mind. I don't think people mind shorts. It's, it comes on a different feed anyway. So uh, uh, I, I enjoy doing them. It's kind of fun. Uh, if you like them, fine. If you don't like them, then don't watch them. Like so long as people enjoy themselves, that's all matters. And uh, we had booked this holiday a little while ago, back in November, December, and I didn't think to check for the London Motorcycle Show dates so when 
where I was about to fly out, they started to see all the uh, promotions for the, the bike show and I said, oh, dang it, I'll miss that this year. But that's okay. I get to see the motorcycles in other ways anyway. It'll be nice to meet some people. Um, it'll be nice to meet some of the people who went there. But we'll, uh, we'll get to be people in other ways. I'm looking forward to the Saddlebags social ride at the end of April. I know there's quite a few people that uh, are going to go to it. Including Richard and Carol from Bennett Man UK. Uncle Red and Resident Biker apparently are also going this year. Which will be fantastic. That will be the usual suspects. Pooley should be there. I've enjoyed his uh, European tours this year. Uh, Epic Adam. I didn't mention him in my last video because I was just responding to people who had given me shout outs and you know Epic Adam has not given me a shout out recently. But I still enjoy watching his channel. Uh, I'm, I'm following how he's getting on with the Himalayan. He's got a Himalayan as well. Although sometimes it is very difficult to see his Himalayan. Uh, I, I see the videos and I'm going, what's he riding? Where is the Himalayan? I can't see it because he's got a camouflage uh, paintwork one. So it's almost impossible to spot it. But yes, North Devon's second biggest motor vlogger. Is it second, Adam, or, or third now, or, or first? How are you doing in the rankings? I, I'm curious. Uh, but he's done a video recently where he compared the Himalayan to a Honda CB500X which is a very nice bike and one that I had considered buying some time ago before I bought my first big bike, the Ninja 650 and now I've moved on to, uh, to the Z1000 into the Himalayan so I haven't really thought about the CB500X for a while also been enjoying uh, watching uh, Dewey rides out in the Pacific Northwest of the USA. He does some fantastic videos um, of his rides and the scenery there and the roads and the attractions up in the Pacific Northwest are just fantastic. He makes me want to go there. Uh, I think he's got some kind of like a big project in the works. Maybe some kind of uh, long or possibly round the world trip. Uh, I saw some posts of his on social media where he's giving hints about it. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to do. Dewey. Should be good. I just haven't had that much time to watch as much YouTube content as I would like to. I keep seeing things on my feed and I say yes, yes, I really want to watch that, but you have to kind of fit it in with uh, with other things going on. And work's been keeping me busy. Uh, we're in a bit of a critical phase now with our company. Where we have to uh, we have to win some contracts. Been working hard on that. Nope, don't ride like a dick. I, I have some work to do. I have uh, I've replaced my cable for my uh, Loco battery tender because when I had the camera system installed they absolutely butchered the cable for the battery tender I don't know why to plug the V Sisto into that cable and so I have a replacement uh, tender cable and I've also got a replacement uh, power adapter for the V Sisto uh, do it, do it, we do it the whole thing myself properly. That's what I should have done in the first place. Gee, 
Jesus. What else have I got going on? I have to phone up uh, hideout leather. Find out whether my uh, uh, my leather jacket is uh, ready for collection. If so, I might go there this weekend. I have some stickers that I received from Moto Waifu. Uh, Moto Waifu had a, a bit of an accident, a spill on her bike, and I sent her a little donation to help get the bike repaired. And she sent back some lovely, lovely stickers which I'm going to have to find somewhere on uh, Frankie on the top box to put stickers on I also want to find a good spot around here for a motor vlogger sticker board I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to do it yet but it will come to me it will come to me probably somewhere out in the country and nice but we'll see figure out eventually I've got quite a lot of stickers to go on there for the first one so I'll have to figure it out sometime soon but when the weather's nice I've got um, as well as the saddlebag social ride I've also got the uh, Hippodrome social ride has been confirmed for the day before the saddlebag social ride so that's going to be interesting go to the Hippodrome's one and then ride straight down to the West Country That's the road sweeper So yeah, it's just starting to look forward to, uh, to the warmer days of the year Now the days are getting longer Hopefully we'll start getting a little bit warmer and sunnier and we can be back out on the country doing country rides. Thank you for stopping. Pick up your feet. Or, or not existing anymore. I shouldn't really be speaking while I'm stuck in traffic.